Hello, this is What's Cooking at Shell Point, and I'm Ruth Duber, and my partner here. And I'm David Lee. And what are you cooking up for us today, Ruth? Well, I'm going to make a creamy asparagus soup. Ooh, I can eat and, that. And, uh-huh, it wants a pound of asparagus, and I tried to figure out how I was going to do that, so I went to Fresh Market, <laughs> and also it calls for one Yukon Gold potato. We need a leek, and I haven't done this yet because I want you to see that leeks have a lot of dirt in them, and we're only going to use this much of the leek. The leek has the leaves that go way out here. But I want to show you a little secret that I use to make it easier. I am going to cut it. You can see there's the dirt. But what I like to do is cut this up and then we're going to put it in a strainer and we're going to rinse it. And I will ask my sous chef here to go rinse this if you would. Okay. <laughs> I can handle that. Okay. And what we're going to do is we'll need a burner on about medium <coughs> high. And we're going to cut the potato <coughs> in about the same size pieces. Okay. David, would you start that for me? And then bring okay. it over and we'll put, the, we'll put that in. Yeah. That's one tablespoon of butter. I don't know why, when it starts to get warm, I think more of soup rather than in the winter. Um, I like it cold. I love cold soups. And actually, this can be served cold. So, did I get that sliced? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to saute. And I bet you don't want that. these browned. No, we don't want it to brown. For some reason or other, these take longer to soften than the potatoes and the asparagus. So that's why we do this ahead of time here. Okay. When we sit right here. Okay. That's yeah. all right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really take long to cook. I'd say maybe 15 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't add any salt. Um, you can always add salt, but you can't take it out. So, and we want four cups <coughs> of chicken broth. And you can use low sodium. Um, just any type. And so we're going to take it over to the stove, put this lid on it, and I'll let you do that, David. Okay. And you can kind of turn it up to high to get it to a boil. Uh, it's turned okay. up. Okay. All righty. Um, I have my daughter Jane here uh, with me. She was here with me for Mother's Day. And uh, she's going to make some little sandwiches to have with the soup. Come on, Jane. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, Mama. Hi. Yay. Yes, here you are. <laughs> Want to do it right here? Yeah, well, it's, it's uh, not complicated, which is my favorite way to cook. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we decided that would be a great pairing with the asparagus <clears throat> soup is to actually do some little tea sandwiches. Uh-huh. Right? Right. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'd have some basic tuna. And should we go over the ingredients? 
It's the basic tuna ingredient, <laughs> correct? <laughs> I think there's onion. We put some uh, some celery yeah, and also some awesome. mayonnaise. So mm -hmm. just something simple and yummy. So we'll take this, and uh, we took some bread. This is wheat bread. I think it's a yeah, combination. This is of called a honey wheat. Honey wheat bread. It's so good. We've had it each and morning it has that I've wheat been flour. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just put a little bit on here. I think sometimes with a soup, if people want to do something a little more substantial, <clears> they'll do a little tea cake or something on the side. So we'll do that. Cut the, we cut the crust off already. This is like my kind of cooking, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I put this on on high. And that's the way it looks. I'm going to give it a stir. And then I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Now, the reason I cut the potatoes small was so that it would cook about the same time as the asparagus. So I've turned it down. And so we'll let it cook a little more. We don't want to overcook it or you'll you'll lose the pretty green color. So now the asparagus is nice and tender, but it's not overcooked. So we're going to put it in. And you want a ladle. Yes. Uh -huh. And oh, there it is. There it is. OK. You're more that. And this is your blender. and. He warned, he said, you have to do it a little bit at a time, so. And I'm sure you have to be sure to put the lid on. Yeah. I have made that error. <laughs> oh, we have the lid right here. Okay. Ruth, what I said, the, okay. the caution that they give you is with hot liquids, they'll okay. expand when mm -hmm. you cook them. So don't fill this up. <clears throat> How's that? You want me to turn it on? Mm-hmm. Uh, open that. Oh. There we go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful color? See, this is one reason you don't want to cook it too long. Or it'll darken. Now, you want to take a third of a cup of sour cream. And swirl that in there. <coughs> now, that is even, it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. But I kind of like the little, <coughs> bit. yeah, that's a little lump. some in here and David you want to talk about this bowl that we're going to use right here David has been doing some pottery in June Lockhart's pottery shop <laughs> June Lockhart swears that she can teach me to make pottery okay and when I watch some of my cooking shows I wanted to create some rustic looking bowls so this is my first attempt thank mm -hmm. you June we're working on the second batch but uh -huh. okay. I wanted to have a soup bowl to go on my white plates and this you're making the soup here today and I thought this is it exactly the color is perfect and you can do a little more she's making me a bigger she's got me making bigger bowls now but this would be this size would be perfect for mm -hmm. a first course okay now we're going to decorate it a little bit <clears throat> and some chives out of David's garden Nice fresh chives. Put a little more on this one. And then we can do croutons if you like. It's not necessary. Not on mine. Okay. Because they yes. have garlic. I know because these, these are garlic flavored. Yeah. So, okay. And then you can do a little more sour cream. Jane, you want to come put your sandwiches on those two plates? I'll let you put them on. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Here's some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's easier for me to have someone to work with. Let's get, and let's get this up here for you, Jane. Okay. Your very fancy spoon. There's another one. There you go, yeah. This is from the 1800s, you 1800, said, 1800, right? yep. Wow, I feel regal just eating this <coughs> Yeah, that's going to be spoon. hot. Be careful, Jane. <laughs> yeah. See. Blow it a little. Don't burn your mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it. Oh, my gosh. 
I feel like I'm in a five-star restaurant. Yeah. This well, you wonderful. are. <laughs> <laughs> one more bite. Mm -hmm. Are you going to join me? David, are you going to have a sample? Sure. Mm -hmm. Which one mm -hmm. kind of spoon? Absolutely. What is this? I'll share with you. Okay. Uh, if, it needs a little, if it needs salt? No, it's perfect. Okay. okay. It's absolutely perfect. So yeah. dive in. There's none in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Isn't it good? Yeah. good. Well, I would imagine good hot or cold. Uh huh. I do like it cold. Well, <laughs> the reason I use the potato is I don't have to use any flour mm. because the potato thickens it up. So, yeah. Hey. Alrighty, I'll put the recipe up on the website. I hope you'll try it. It's mighty easy and it's mighty good. Okay. Bye bye. 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 bye.